Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Tanya Rivero. And I'm Tony DeCoppel. Mm -hmm. CBS News, I like the ring of that. It sounds yeah, really nice, works. doesn't it? It does. <laughs> uh, here are the top stories that we are following right now. A showdown between Russia and Ukraine is escalating, and the U.S. has ordered family members of embassy personnel to get out of the country. Opening statements have begun in the federal civil rights trial of the three officers involved in George Floyd's death. And a shocking end to the NFL's playoff weekend. Several last-second upsets have put some underdog teams one step closer to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And be sure to stick around for the latest on NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The $10 billion piece of equipment will soon be gliding into its parking spot in deep space. I'm a geek for all of it. And the icon, the living legend, Miss Dionne Warwick, is joining us in studio to talk about her new song and where you can see her next live performance. Cannot wait for that. I'm looking forward to it as well. But we're going to begin here. The U.S. State Department is ordering the families of Ukraine embassy staff members to leave the country immediately. It is also urging any citizens visiting Ukraine to get out of the country as soon as possible on commercial flights. Officials say the decision was made out of an abundance of caution due to Russia's military presence near its Ukraine border. President Biden is reportedly discussing whether to send U.S. troops to Eastern Europe. It comes as a second shipment of weapons arrived in Ukraine from the U.S. While Russia says it is not planning to invade the country, there are growing concerns an invasion is imminent. For more on all of it, let's bring in CBS News foreign correspondent Holly Williams. She's in the Ukrainian capital city of Kiev. Holly, good morning to you, or good afternoon, I should say. Yeah. Got to break an old habit. Uh, so Russia has troops on three sides of the border there in Ukraine. How are people feeling inside the country where you are? Yeah, look, what people have said to us here in Ukraine is is that in the event of an invasion, they really don't have anywhere to, to, to run. They don't have anywhere to hide. Uh, remember, this is not a wealthy country, so many people simply can't leave their livelihoods and, and their homes behind. And on top of that, we don't know what form a potential Russian attack would take. And remember, as you said, the Russians have denied that they're planning an invasion. But if there is an attack and there are 100,000 or so Russian troops sitting on the border, you know, would it take the form of a conventional invasion with tanks and artillery rolling across the border? Well, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah like All right. It. Well, Dion, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Such a pleasure to have pleasure. you with us. Thank you for the story. Thank you for the voice. And I look forward to seeing you in Vegas. And okay. I, it does look a little bit like a 16-year-old's birthday party. <laughs> yeah. But give it a chance. Those, those can fun. be fun, too. 16-year-old birthday parties yeah. are great, right? <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> Some of them. Good point. All right. Well, thank you again. And coming up in the next hour here on CBS News, fears of a Russian invasion. The State Department is warning Americans to leave Ukraine. We will speak with our Holly Williams in Kyiv about if and when Russia could decide to cross the border. Opening statements begin in the federal civil rights trial against the three former officers connected to George Floyd's murder. And Dr. Fauci says the Omicron surge may peak soon, but doctors warn this does not mean the pandemic is over. You're streaming CBS News, always on. everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Tanya Rivero. And I'm Tony DeCoppo. Here's a look at the top stories we are following right now. A showdown between Russia and Ukraine is escalating and the U.S. has ordered family members of embassy personnel to get out of the country. Opening statements have begun in the federal civil rights trial of the three officers involved in George Floyd's death. And a shocking end to the NFL's playoff weekend. Several last-second upsets have put some underdog teams one step closer to the Super Bowl. And be sure to stick around for the latest on NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The $10 billion piece of equipment will soon be gliding into its parking spot in deep space. And the icon, the living legend, Miss Dionne Warwick, is joining us in studio to talk about her new song and where you can see her next live performance. I'm so excited I'm very excited. That. She's going to class up the place. But we're going to begin here. The U.S. State Department ordering the families of Ukraine embassy staff members 
to leave the country immediately. It is also urging any citizens visiting Ukraine to get out of the country as soon as possible on commercial flights. Officials say the decision was made out of an abundance of caution due to Russia's military presence near its Ukraine border. President Biden is reportedly discussing whether to send U.S. troops to Eastern Europe. It comes as a second shipment of weapons arrived in Ukraine from the U.S. While Russia says it is not planning to invade the country, there are growing concerns an invasion is imminent. For more on all of it, let's bring in CBS News foreign correspondent Holly Williams. She's in the Ukrainian capital city of Kiev. Holly, good morning to you, or good afternoon, I should say. Yeah. Got to break an old habit. Uh, so Russia has troops on three sides of the border there in Ukraine. How are people feeling inside the country where you are? Yeah, look, what people have said to us here in Ukraine is, is that in the event of an invasion... <laughs> Good point. Coming up, it's red and blue. The U.S. is telling Americans who do not need to be in Ukraine to leave. We'll speak with a former ambassador about the diplomacy efforts behind the scenes to stave off a full military conflict with Russia. And President Biden is facing pressure on the economy and his social agenda. We break down the main issues he's looking to tackle in year two of his presidency. Red and Blue is next. You're streaming CBS News.